All right, let me show you what's going on around the area now. We are talking about temperatures that are unbelievably warm. 72 in Lapeer and Detroit, the old record. Record all-time high temperature ever recorded for Detroit until today. For today's date was 63. Now we're at 72. Unheard of, I guess, until it happens. 69 is the cool spot in Adrian. You were warmer just a couple of hours ago. A few extra clouds there uh, trying to move through. The cold is still coming. The change from very, very warm and stormy to very, very cold and winter-like is still coming. It's 72 in Grand Rapids. Marquette's 59. Duluth, 22. It's 3 degrees in Winnipeg, 7 in Fargo. In the 20s and teens and single digits behind this very strong cold front that's going to force the action through. To our south, Cincinnati to St. Louis, south of St. Louis, that's the greatest tornado threat. We do have that threat here, but not like they do to the south. Chicago, hail that could go to two inches. We talked about that as a possibility here yesterday. That probably won't happen, but we could still see hail to an inch. So scattered storms that should be strong to possibly severe. That's the yellow area. And look at the action here again. We talk about a scale from one to five. And this is a two, so it's not enormous, but this is very typical for what we get in May and June and July and August for summer storms around here. So from now to 11 o'clock this evening, there could be a few showers. 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., that's the target zone. This is later than what we talked about yesterday. This is when we could get some severe storms. A one-inch hail, damaging winds to 60 miles an hour, and again, the possibility of an isolated tornado. We will be here all night for you from the uh, going on through the overnight into and through the morning uh, news. And uh, from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., there might still be some showers and thunderstorms. Those should not be severe. And then after 8 o'clock, it is a strong wind and temperatures dropping through the day, rain to snow as we go along. So again, can't rule out a tornado, but hail and winds and maybe some flooding with the heavy rain coming through as well. Temporary kind of street flooding action with this storm. Here's the setup. Now I know we're at 72, an all-time record high, but this warm front is to indicate an extra surge of moisture and energy that's coming through, and that will be the main part of the storm. There still could be some again around until that front goes through around 7 or 8 o'clock. So the threats are there in the over overnight hours as we go marching through time. Temperature wise, we're going to really, really fall off from the 70s today to the 30s by the end of the day tomorrow. It will be a wild change for sure. Take a peek at the extended forecast. 38 Thursday, 48 Friday, back to the 60s Sunday through Tuesday.